G'day guys, before I start this video I'd just like to put it out there and say a big thank you to the people that have contributed to my channel. Uh, we've got, I will say first names but I won't say last names so you know who you are. Uh, firstly, James, Patreon, thank you very much buddy. Uh, it is much appreciated. Every little bit counts so we've also got uh, Richard. Uh, Richard donated a little bit of money. Uh, what else we got? Mike. We've got Sev, S-V-E-N, Sven, sorry dude, can't really pronounce your name, um, Eric and Curtis, um, plus, I don't think there's any more, no, nope, that's it, plus the anonymous 100, well it wasn't really anonymous, I know who it was now, but the guy that donated $100 to me earlier, thank you very much, I really do appreciate it, uh, a little bit of the money has now been spent on some more plastic clips, and uh, I think I've got some heat shrink and some more solder with it. So thank you very much guys, it really does help. And on with the video. Cheers guys. Okay YouTube, I've been a bit lazy, sorry lately, but um, Windows 10 free upgrade finished and I got smashed with work so I had heaps of better things to do. Um, throughout the week, uh, a few things have changed. Basically that there, was prototype one and it was down the bottom it was the only way i had of hooking up the the last pack and i should never have done it um i had an idea that it was going to cause a problem but what basically happened is because i didn't put any um um insulation across the bottom is the actual cells rubbed through ever so slightly and that whole thing was negatively charged um, so it was earthed out. So it had it, nothing actually happened. I must stress that nothing actually happened. But if um, if one of these terminals at the top, the positive, had a slid across and hit and hit the top bit here, it would have shorted it out and killed it. So I've had to take that one out. And in the process, what I did was I um, I put it in this shed. I thought well, it was it was just a test. But what I've got is got. I've got uh, five meters of heat shrink and that heat shrink I've put it on the bottom let's have a look at this so it still comes out nice and easy so I've got the heat shrink across the bottom there so all of them have got heat shrink now well actually that said all of these ones have heat shrink already and they always had heat shrink, it's just that one that didn't. So, with these new packs, these are the powder coated ones, so I just did a test fit and stuff just to make sure it looked good, and what I was going to do was paint this shed all white, and then set it all up. <sighs> good idea, complete waste of time, don't have time to do it, so I'm not doing it. But what I do need to do now is set this up for 48 volts. So when I get my new inverter, when I get my new inverter that hasn't even been ordered yet, it's easy to do. Now, some of the drawbacks, I'll tell you what, hindsight's a bitch and doing something twice, it seems to be what I do lately. These here, I sort of set so if I stood back here, it looked good. Um, and also I needed the space here so I could put this, this um, charge controller. The drawback to that is now there and there there's not enough space to actually put a pack so now I've got to move this pack over I've got to relocate this which means I've got to make those cables again which means I'm going to reroute all those cables which is going to be exciting so I can try and get the other three packs in over there I've also got to change these packs to the powder coated ones and then take these ones down to the powder coaters to get done um, I'm also, after I had the problem with that bottom pack earthing out on the bottom, I'm also going to um, heat shrink these tabs here because these have direct contact with the actual cells. So that's going to make it even safer again, even though, I don't know who it was, but someone said the, the, the powder coating has insulating properties as well, but that's not good enough for me. I, I have the heat shrink, I'm going to throw it on there. So let's do that now.
So that's my first attempt at the top. It looks pretty dodgy, I don't like it at all. But it will work for now. I think the next one I'm going to try just heating it from the bottom and not heating it from the top at all so these don't curl over. But that'll work. And the bottom looks... The bottom looks fine. It's going to be certainly better than not having it at all. So... Okay, uh, after rethinking this, um, the top bit here with the, the, the heat shrink on it, I decided against it, I cut it off. Um, so it was all on there, it's been cut off. Basically the problem was, these have got such perfect tolerances that as soon as I, uh, as soon as I added another millimetre each side, it didn't really fit, it just fit left and right. But underneath here, at the top, it just, it just didn't fit. It, it is made so perfectly, well, I guess, yeah, they're so perfectly, that'll do, that's a good enough word for me, um, that it didn't fit, so I had to cut it off again. Um, this, I did research, and apparently that does have good insulation properties, so I'm going to leave it like that for now. Um, in, in, in hindsight, I'm going to, next time I'll make that one millimetre longer, and I'll make this half a millimetre um, thinner on each side. In the next revision of these packs that I get made. Let's pull out the top pack, move it over a little bit and get it all set up again. I'm almost at a battery on my phone, so I can't record any more today. Oh, I guess I could, but it's um, a, little bit, a little bit frustrating and tripping over shit. So I'm going to leave it for today, and I'll show you a video of it finalised. Cheers. Hey, tubers. So this has been a very productive day. Uh, I basically, as you'll see from the, the, the little shits and bits of stop motion earlier, that I basically tore all this out again. Um, had to move it all over, had to move this over just a little bit to actually get everything to fit. Um, had to take all my cable management out. Well, it's not cable management, it's just cables. So in order to fit another three there, I, I needed to make some space. So I've got to actually remake all these cables up top. Really, really happy with the way all these powder coated goodness looks. So all three are all exactly the same now. This one here is one of the older ones with all the bus bars at the top. I'm not gonna bother changing it until I have a problem. So uh, we're currently charging at 45 amps, 27.2 volts and 1.2 kilowatts. And I found a problem. As you always do, don't you? You always find problems with this. And then this isn't hot, this isn't hot. And I'm going around trying to find out where it's hot. Let's pull out the little thing out of my pocket. Turn it on. 32. The battery's 19. Roof. 25. And then you get down to here. That's substantially cooled down. Uh, I think that's coming out wrong because that's really, really hot to touch. 35 degrees, see that? You put your fingers on that and that actually hurts. You really need to get into there. I reckon it's around 40 degree mark. So that fuse which is let me get a better angle on it after I put that in my pocket so it doesn't drop that's me 200 amp fuse and that's getting that's that's really hot I'm sorry but that meters that meter I got in my pocket is wrong that's really really hot so that shouldn't be getting hot at 45 amps charging current 
not when it's rated at 200 amps. So that goes towards what I said in a few earlier videos that I don't recommend these at all, they're crap. What I might do is I might take all these cables off. These are four gauge cables, I think. There we go, there's that's four gauge cable, so 25 millimeter square. Now that's running, I got six millimeter square coming into the charge controller and then the, the 25 millimeter square coming out. And obviously that is not up to the task. Now it's either the cable itself or this. I've just tightened it down big time. I've got the arm, I've torqued that down as much as I dare do without breaking it, but we'll see how we go. So I'm gonna replace this cable and I'll be back in a minute. There we go, a minute later, replaced all the cable. Oh, actually, it's a little bit more than a minute. <laughs> but replaced all the cable with some heavier cable and all those heat issues disappeared. So I haven't done the, the negative side yet. The negative side wasn't getting hot. I think it was just because it was passing through. This was getting hot. So I will be doing the negative side once I do a finalization for all the other, all the layout and stuff like that. So problem solved. Five odd hours of labor. All the new packs are all sorted and we've got room for a few more packs now that's one two three four five packs uh the sixth pack down there has to be powder coated so i'll get that done this week but that's where i am at thanks for tuning in